And welcome back. We continue our KX conversation tonight with Republican Senator Kevin Kramer. He joins us from Washington, D.C. Hello, Senator. Hi, good to be with you from, from the swamp. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for being here. Senator, President Trump called for $2,000 stimulus checks. The House of Representatives agreed, but the idea seems to have stalled out in the Senate. Why is that? Well, part of the problem, Josh, is, the, is just our process takes several days. And so unless there's complete consent, um, we end up with several days of debate. And right now we're in the middle of, of several days of debate on on the veto of the National Defense Authorization Act. So, um, but I, I, you know, personally, I'd love to see the issue come up for a vote along with the other issues that are important to the president. Last week, you voted for a big COVID relief package. If you had to mm -hmm. choose one, which piece of that package do you think will be most essential for North Dakotans? Yeah, great question. Uh, the, the, obviously, the whole package is really, really important. The piece that I work the hardest on and it really has my signature is the Paycheck Protection Program's um, forgiveness aspect, allowing small loans at $150,000 or less, which is really a lot of you know, salons and, and small retailers and uh, other Main Street businesses like restaurants, bars, um, to, to simplify their forgiveness process of the PPP loan they got previously. Um, but I, you know, you can never, you, you can never really dismiss how important the vaccine getting distributed is. Um, continued research and development on on other treatments and getting those distributed. Just dealing specifically with the COVID-19 is probably the highest priority. The other things are more aimed at the economy, building an economic bridge for people. All right. And your fellow Senator Josh Hawley says he plans to object the electoral vote certification on January 6th. Another one of your colleagues, Senator Lindsey Graham, says challenging the votes would probably do more harm than good. Quickly, what do you think about all that? Well, first of all, I think everybody should take a take a deep breath. The, the republic is resilient, and it'll survive an objection. It'll survive five objections or no objections. You know, this is not about one person. I think Senator Graham, uh, he, he, his heart is in the right place, but. I, We've had objections before. There was an objection to George W. Bush's re-election by uh, Barbara Boxer in, in California. They had the debate, they had the vote, and the republic is still here. So, um, you know, I'm going to listen to all of the uh, all of the discussion. Um, I think that you know, Josh is focuses on Pennsylvania. I actually think Pennsylvania is one of them that probably, well, we know they violated state law and the remedy would not be overturning the election there. There might be a couple of other states that would be a better objection, but my personal consideration is more about conscience and, and whether I want other states interfering in my elections in North Dakota in the future. And, and uh, we have to take this very, very seriously. There's a lot at stake here, more than just one president in one, one term. All right, we'll definitely keep an eye on that. Senator Kevin Kramer, thank you for joining us, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and to all of your viewers. Thank you.